Hi, this is Jerry Jenkins. We're going to simulate in PY game in Python human typing in an area on a PY game screen. I did some Python code recently, and uh, I had a question from someone on my YouTube, and they wanted to know how would you in PY game uh, simulate like hum a human typing on the screen, like a, in a message. Uh, so I thought that was a good little problem. So I worked out uh, a, a little some code to do that. So you can get the code at my uh, GitHub page, and I'll put a link um, on the site in the description. Uh, but it's uh, the the code is under Jerry uh, Jenkins LB, which is under GitHub, and it's called PY Game Typing Simulation. And the main files you need are main, which will test it, and a uh, this typing .area .py, which is a class which will um, behave kind of like a sprite. It will allow you to draw to an area of the screen and then give it some text, and it will type the text in that area. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to my code. First, we're going to look at main, and there's going to be this class called typing area that I created. And the way you use it, you go ahead and invoke uh, PY game, and you bring in the typing area from the uh, that other file, typing area. You can set uh, any colors you want to use in PY game. And then I have some text I want to scroll. So you just make a text string uh, with new lines where you want. And then you, uh, this is a special call you can do in PY game that sets the uh, upper and left offset of your window on the screen. And then you initialize PY game. This is all normal stuff. You set the size of your window. You make a clock object a font object and then you're going to make a object of type typing area and you give it the story which is the text you give it a rectangle for where you want to uh, scroll the text within on your uh, screen what font you want to use and what foreground and background color you want to use for the uh, font and the background of the area and then you uh, specify how many words per minute Let me make this a little bigger so uh, words per minute, 200 is about as fast, but you can make it 400, which will make it, uh, or 500, make it type superhuman speed, uh, and it'll do that. And it uses a, uh, a normal distribution of what a normal typist would type, and then just adjust it for the speed. Then we have our main event loop, which you're probably familiar with if you use PY game. Here we just, uh, if someone hits the uh, X button on the window, it'll quit. But what you have to use is the object you created called message. You have to call update on it every time through the uh, PY game loop. And then you have to call draw and pass it the screen, uh, which we set up here. And then you have to flip the display so that any changes that happen will be displayed. And then you uh, do your clock tick for how often you want to do the refresh. And that's basically it. It'll take care of everything. So now let's look at how we do that. So we have... Uh, PY game, time, uh, we're going to use random, the Gauss generator in random, which does a distribution for you. And we're going to use a, a queue, which is called a deck, uh, to queue up uh, the events for the timing. And that's in case things get uh, behind. So first we create a method to give a delay based on the typing speed. So uh, basically this figures out uh, what the mean is for the, the, the speed in terms of milliseconds and then it calls Gauss to create a, a distribution of that and it uses the standard de the uh, standard deviation is the mean divided by 2 so it's kind of just an approximation here and then it returns uh, either 0 um, or what V is or a max which is 3000 so it, it brackets the uh, what how the delay is between those so the typing area, here's our class that does all the work. Uh, so when you, you initialize it, you pass these parameters, which we went through when we called it. Uh, you put all the text into a queue, so they're in single characters. Uh, you copy the rectangle. Uh, you remember the font, the foreground, and background. And then we calculate some things, so we get the, uh, the size of the area. Uh, we get the uh, we create an image area to draw into, which is of that size. We fill it with the background color. Uh, remember the words per minute, and then we start at the top, and we're going to type until we get to the bottom. And then we'll start scrolling. Um, so delta is how far we move down every time we do some text, and you just have to measure 
a character in the font. So this, uh, when you call font size, uh, it returns the width and height. So we just want the height. So we just get the second parameter. Um, we keep track of the current line because the way we're going to do this is we're going to build a line character by character and keep rendering that. And so uh, we have a thing that record what is the next time we want to put up a character. And then we have a dirty flag to tell it when we want to actually draw to the screen when we change something. Then we have a helper function called new line and this handles moving to the next line. So it has to either move down one if it's, it hasn't reached the bottom of the text area or it's going to scroll up and then insert the new line. Uh, so it's going to advance the line. Uh, it's going to set a new line to be empty and uh, this checks if it's at the bottom of the area. If it is, it's going to uh, scroll everything up. So this is a blip that scrolls up and then we're going to uh, back up the line uh, by the height and then we're going to draw a, a, a rectangle that's just the background color that's going to basically erase the bottom line because now we're going to draw the new line after we moved everything up. Uh, we set dirty to one and the new character is a internal and it, it renders one character so it's going to add a character to the line. Uh, so if uh, the character is new line, it calls new line, which causes things to, to scroll or move down. And otherwise, it, uh, it adds a character to the, to the line string. Uh, it renders it. So it renders out all the text into an image area. And then it blitz the text to the uh, current position where we want to draw the line and sets dirty. So then update gets called, and this is what what runs the whole thing from the main loop and draw. So update is going to, if it has text to draw, uh, it checks is it time to draw it. So this is when it checks if it's time. And if it is time, uh, it pops a character off the, uh, the, the, uh, the queue. And then if uh, there's more text to draw, it sets a delay for the next one and uh, saves the, and calculates next time based on that. Uh, otherwise, it uh, sets next time to zero. If it has nothing to draw, the buffer's empty. It's going to stop drawing until you add something to the buffer. So you can call the object and set some text into the buffer uh, and it would start working again. We call uh, update, which is calling itself, to catch any uh, events that need to happen within the same tick. and uh, then we have the draw, and if it's dirty, it blitz the entire image to the screen at the right place and sets dirty to zero. And that's it. So let's run it here.